Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this edition, we'll be discussing a person who developed uvulitis during diving and had questions about it. Keep watching. We had an inquiry from a diver who said they had been doing three dives and had a dry throat, but at the end of the dives, they had developed such irritation of the so-called little tongue or uvula, which is that fleshy uh, lump at the back of the throat, if you look into your mouth in the mirror, and that they had the concern that one, diving had caused it, and two, if there was ongoing swelling, that this might even cause an obstruction in their airway. What were they to do? Well, there are a couple of possibilities here. It is unusual for the dry gas that we breathe, and compressed gas by definition is dry, that that would cause such irritation of the uvula that you would develop uvulitis simply as a result of that. My bigger concern is that you may also be suffering from what we call sleep apnea, or one of the obstructive sleep syndromes that result in morning dry throat, swelling of the uvula, and often tiredness during the day, and a number of other medical problems. Now, how would you know if that is possible? Well, if you're a male, and the circumference of your neck, in other words, your collar size, is 18 centimeters or more, or your female, and it is 16 centimeters or more, or it is known that you snore significantly during the night, or that your partner or spouse has even witnessed you stopping breathing for periods during the night, then sleep apnea may not only be very relevant to the uvulitis, but actually something that needs treatment in and of itself. And nowadays there are many options it's not necessarily simply a matter of losing weight and having a so-called CPAP machine that provides pressure in the nasopharynx and essentially forces those airways open, preventing the lung from collapsing and snoring from occurring, as well as the obstruction. So, my suggestion would be, first of all, yes, have a doctor see you and there are many goggles, etc., that would uh, work as a decongestant of the uvula. If there's a possible infection, upper respiratory tract infection, possibly antibiotics would be prescribed. It's unlikely that cortisone would be necessary, but my biggest concern is that there may be unrecognized sleep apnea. And if that is the case, that needs treatment because there are many health disorders associated with it, including obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and sudden death. So you'd want to take care of that. Hope I didn't scare you and hope that you'll get the necessary uh, advice and help. And until next time, to all of you, safe time.